Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today we're diving into a fascinating peptide that I have not talked about before that's making waves in health and fitness community, MOTS C. If you're curious about mitochondrial health, fat loss, or boosting energy levels, you'll definitely want to stick around for this one. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is MOTS C? It's a small peptide derived from the mitochondria, which are the powerhouses of our cells. While the mitochondria are primarily known for generating energy, they also play an important role in regulating metabolism, aging, and even physical performance. MOTC is encoded by mitochondrial DNA, which makes it quite unique compared to most peptides, which are usually encoded by nuclear DNA. This peptide helps our bodies adapt to stress, regulate energy production, and maintain metabolic balance, especially when it comes to burning fat and improving overall endurance. So now that we know what MOTC is, let's talk Talk about how it works in the body. MOTC primarily acts by targeting the mitochondria, which are essential for energy production. As we age or face stressors like exercise, diet, or even illness, mitochondrial function can begin to decline. MOTC helps maintain mitochondrial efficiency, essentially acting as a sort of booster to ensure that our cells keep producing energy optimally. What's more is, is that MOTC helps with metabolic re- regulation by improving how our body processes glucose and fats. This leads to enhanced endurance, fat burning, and just overall energy levels. By improving this mitochondrial function, MOTC can also help support metabolic flexibility, allowing your body to switch between burning carbohydrates and fat more effectively based on activity levels or diet. So what exactly are the potential benefits of using MOTC in peptide therapy? There are really a lot of exciting advantages. So the first thing I want to talk about is the enhanced energy production. So by improving mitochondrial efficiency, MOTS-C can essentially boost your overall energy levels. This makes it really a popular option for those who feel fatigued or those who run down or work out a lot. MOTS-C has also been shown that it has potential in improving fat metabolism. So it enhances your body's ability to burn fat more effectively, which could aid in weight loss or even help athletes achieve body butter composition. And thanks to its impact on mitochondrial function, MOTC can improve physical performance by increasing stamina and endurance during exercise. This also makes it a popular peptide among athletes or anyone just looking to push their physical limits. MOTC also plays a role in insulin sensitivity. And I know we've talked about this before, but I love to talk about this because this is something that affects everyone. Um, So not only does it affect insulin sensitivity, it also affects glucose regulation. And this could really particularly be beneficial for people managing metabolic functions like prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, or just by improving the body's response to blood sugar in general. Now, since MOTC helps maintain mitochondrial health, it's also thought to have anti-aging effects. By improving mitochondrial function, essentially MOTC could help mitigate some of those cellular decline that we see or that is associated with aging, promoting overall vitality. And the last thing I want to talk about is because MOTC helps with energy production and endurance, a lot of people who use this peptide often report better, better muscle function and faster recovery after exercise. Now, while MOTC has some promising benefits, as with any peptide therapy or therapy in general, it's really important to understand the potential side effects and risks associated with treatment. The first thing I want to talk about is, is that there's really a lack of long-term research when it comes to MOTC. So while preliminary studies are promising, we don't have a lot of research on those long-term effects. Most studies have typically been conducted in animal models and human clinical trials are still ongoing. MOTC's impact on metabolism also might not be suitable for everyone. So people with pre-existing metabolic conditions or those on medications that regulate glucose, such as insulin, should really consult with a healthcare provider before starting MOTC therapy as it may affect how their body handles glucose or fat metabolism. And lastly, since MOTC can influence metabolic pathways, there is a possibility that it could indirectly impact hormones that regulate metabolism or appetite and even energy storage. Really careful monitoring is important and essential if you decide to use this peptide therapy. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. If you found this episode helpful, please be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And as always, have a happy, healthy week.